The popularity of photography was exploding, especially in America, and studios were popping up in major cities all around the world. But one thing was missing, color. As soon as photography gets patented, as soon as it becomes available to the public, the first thing that they start doing is adding color. Our dresses have color, our jewelry had colors, our ties, our coats, our hats. The world that we were surrounded in was full of color. Of course, that meant adding color by hand painting monochrome images. The big question, could someone develop a process using color sensitive chemicals and dyes to create a natural color photograph? One of the things that happens in the early history of photography is that it's very technically oriented. The experimenters, the users, the thinkers are all trying to find different ways to make different kinds of photographic images. They're still in the process of understanding chemistry, optics, mechanical engineering, how do the cameras work. So it takes a few years for us to sort of wrestle all of this out. And one of the things that we're trying to wrestle with is color. In 1851, an obscure American inventor named Reverend Levi Hill declared he had discovered a process to make natural color photographs. He called his color pictures hillotypes. This was an extraordinary claim from someone with no formal training at a time when many of the world's greatest scientific minds were competing to come up with just such a process. But it was Hill's refusal to share his process that ignited both controversy and mystery, prolonging a void that wouldn't be filled for another 50 years. Inventors were still struggling and still striving to find a way to make color photographs. And in France, the Lumiere brothers in 1907 came up with this autochrome process. And what they figured out of all things to hold the dyes, potato starch. The Lumiere brothers were French filmmakers. They're also credited with inventing the first commercially viable color photograph. Their key insight was to create a color negative by combining three images, one orange, one green, and one violet. The color came from microscopic grains of dyed potato starch. The Lumieres call this breakthrough an autochrome, and this would be the primary method of color processing until the advent of color film in the 1930s. 